We have some breaking news, some very <laughs> exciting news like today. The last two videos are just starting with like news, news, news. Yes, because yeah. this month we uh, we stepped out in faith to do something that we've never done before, and that's like a live uh, meetup or a live recording or a live experience, live experience or a gigs or then some sort. Green has become a color. Yes, like green, 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 or green and brown. It looks really know. nice. It's money. It's the money. Yeah, color. And, and environment, environment. Uh -huh, for you. So, what's the news today? So, first of all, can you imagine we sold yeah. out our tickets on the venue that we had in mind? We have yeah. completely, completely sold out. Yeah. And we still are getting more requests to accommodate more numbers. So, in fact, when we were planning the gig, like we, we had so many doubts uh, if guys would come. So we wanted to keep the number as small especially, as possible. Especially when the tickets went live, it's, it was a slow start. And so like, you know what? We chose the perfect venue <laughs> yes. for this. Yes. And, 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 and at first, we, we just wanted something small just in case Let's all meet here. We need to have a family meeting. And you know, that's, that's okay. Yeah. We decided to get a venue that was uh, small. And, mm -hmm. yeah, and you know, we're like, oh, maybe at this at this point. Mm -hmm. And now it's barely a week. Tickets are out. And now because the tickets are out, we have been forced to settle on a bigger venue. Which is? Nairobi Cinema. Yes, yes, yes. yes. So we've moved the venue from Saxon Violins to Nairobi Cinema, mm -hmm. and you know, throughout the whole process, uh, we've tried experimenting with different. We've tried checking out different venues, but uh, because of various reasons, we couldn't book the ones. Some of those venues, but um, as a start, we're gonna start with Nairobi Cinema. The experience is still gonna be the same. We're trying wow. to make this as as cool, as fun, as interactive, intimate, as, as interactive as possible. Yeah. Somebody was asking if we can take a picture with everyone. Who's yeah, coming. that would be super, super. Yeah, super at cool. first maybe we got that to get to selfie now because of our budget <laughs> for it. But now, yeah. but now we need to talk with the photographers so that now we can have an intimate, interactive session. But and also, yeah. Nairobi Cinema is very central. Yeah, because we have people coming from different uh, parts of town. Yeah. <laughs> All this to say, we have a new venue that will accommodate more people yeah. and so we are back to selling more tickets so if yeah. you had missed out please yeah. we got the last minute because yeah. guys are jumping on these tickets quick quick, quick yeah. and fast yeah. so we will leave a link as usual in the description box we have extended yeah. we have added the number of people who can purchase tickets so please please yeah. get on it jump on it the joy live the joy <laughs> <laughs> The joy light, the joy light experience <laughs> that is of April from 1 pm. <laughs> April. Oh. Anyway, <laughs> to on to today's episode, we really, really hope you enjoy. Hi guys, this is yet another episode of the Joyride Podcast. Episode. This is the coolest podcast in town number. right now. This episode is episode number, number nine. Wow. Yanni, we're wow. almost done with season one and we've been so consistent. This has been crazy, you know. To the entire team. Yeah, big shout out to, all of you. To, to, you know, I always mention guys that are like, I'm in touch with my Denis Aussie. But we have a huge team, we have an audio team, we have a video. The video team is made up of two guys. And then there's myself who I always share editing ideas. <laughs> but um, last time on episode six, we asked you guys if you would be down, if you'd be interested for a live recording session. Mm -hmm. And the feedback that we got was amazing. So these are some of the comments that I got, that I got and I'm reading them from that YouTube. That we got. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> that we got and I'm reading them from YouTube. Mm. Uh, Stacey Waru is saying, I'm down for a live recording. I love these guys so much. We have to agree here now. How many comments are you reading? Because uh, I have to hold you to it. Okay, how long do I have? 25? No, you can only read 10. three. I can't read three comments. We like, have to all get on to the episode. People, okay. Okay. Let's, let's do three. Then no. I can do two. Then we'll have done. Okay, let me, just give me time and then within that short period of time, I'll read as many as possible. Okay, 30 seconds. Okay. Uh, Wiki Danielle is saying, sorry, ready. 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 Uh, Wiki Daniel is saying so ready. Laura Wathira is saying yes. Uh, Rose Mutua is saying hell yeah. Um, there was one I'm looking for for about Uganda. There's Ivor who's saying yes to alive. We want 
when Wanjiru takes Ben's juice, glass of juice, juice. Kuna live, a live audience juice. Uh, reaction. Uh, price ni nyinyi kuamua based on the cost of hosting. That's a very good and that's very considering. Um, there's <laughs> Consider one specific... It in English. Cons- Consider it This one comment not after Uganda. This is a guy who said... Uli delete. Has they delete iko tu hapa. Me and my wife... Just, just continue. We'll travel all the way from Uganda. Wow. For the live recording, just give us a date. That's true. That was so kind, man. There's somebody who suggested that maybe we charge 500 shillings and maybe a thousand for VIP. Mm. Maybe you can also have VIP when you're... So, you can 5K. You can have 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 5K. If you'd By be interested way, in just, that ticket to story, you might have the VIP, <laughs> <laughs> but maybe you, we would sit with you on stage. Yeah. What What are guys saying from your end, Wanjiru? Back to you in I keep on on like you're living your radio dreams. No, 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 no. Yeah, but this. I feel like that's like the best way to do it. Like it's that so, radio it's so that exciting. you worked at never gave you an opportunity. <laughs> that's sensitive. You're like, that's take sensitive. that. My therapist has done so much. Um, yeah, There were a lot of questions on our therapist. If you oh, DM wow. the Joyride podcast page, yeah. there will be somebody to assist yeah. you. You know, you know, guys. So many people ask about the therapist number. Mm. At some point, you want to consider for a short psychology course. No, many, many. And then just that session. Three K, three K, three K, three K. Was it only cast? So, um, someone saying here, mm-hmm. Deborah, mm. thank you for this episode, Andrew and Ben. Um, I have been wanting to encourage Ben that you. S- <laughs> okay. That your sister may be physically gone, yeah. but she's rooting for you in heaven and yeah. cheering you on with the success you have created in the digital space. Wow. I recall how your numbers on the podcast blew up after the brief episode and also the significant growth this channel has registered thus far. Yeah. This I is agree. a clear sign that she's rooting for you. What's her name? Debra. Debra. Mm-hmm. Thank you so much, Debra. Yeah. Appreciate you. Um, somebody saying the Joyride podcast is just incredible. When I'm down, I usually watch your videos as a distraction. I yeah. literally watch and rewatch and rewatch and rewatch yeah. all your videos. That's how much you guys are. Oh, thank you so much. I think I need to read also from Twitter. You know, Twitter is a very hard, tough okay, crowd. You get you know? one. No, I can't read one. Let me just read like four. Five seconds. So there's one who's La Pulga is saying Ben Seiko, Ben Seiko and his wife's podcast, The Joyride, is kind of the best authentic Kenyan YouTube challenge. Thank you so much, uh, Mr. Moigai. We have Oliver Madenge uh, is saying, very good episode as usual. I am Naomi saying, I should be sleeping, but I have to catch up with the Jared episode six. Also, Ben Psycho, we might need a live recording soon. That's Naomi. In fact, I'm Naomi. 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 So what's your live recording on that question? The prizes will start from 1,000 shillings for the Ali Bad ticket. Yeah. So you better rush and buy the Ali Bad ticket. We're going to leave a link in the, in the description, description box. box below. We also have a, a special um, nini, prize for couples. Yeah, 1,800. Mm-hmm. For It doesn't have to be you and your partner or your significant yeah. other or husband. It could be you and your friend. Yeah. We're you not and your sister. Trauma. Yeah. Mm. But it's a couple. Yeah. Yeah. So... I guess that's it. Is there anything else that we are not telling guys about the live recording? We have spoken about the venue. We have spoken about the dates. Yeah. Have we? It's 30th. 30th of April. April. Yes. From 1 p.m. all the way to uh, 6 p.m. Yeah. It'll yeah. be a fun, fun time. Are we going to have an after party? Come on. Come on. <laughs> Don't be a party pooper. <laughs> I, I would not want to be Like, you know, guys are only that. seeing you as the life of the party. Quite. Like, when do you see I'm a bash? I like to I'll... do that for close friends. Oh, okay. Yeah. So, so, VIP. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Lipa extra. Yeah. But we... gets a close friends. But other than that, we are so excited. This is going to be like a, a first date. Do you think mm. this is like a blind date as well? Because they know how we look. But we don't know. No, a blind date them. is when you both don't know each other. So maybe it's just a first date. Okay. Have you yeah. ever gone on a blind date? No. Have you? Of course. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to hear this story. Ode wakwala farame venya likuwa na kapus. I think um, filters are editing kido kidogo. It's quite crazy. So, what are we yeah. talking about today? You tell us. No, you tell us. I think it's roles and responsibilities. Me, I don't like to delve too much into the topic. Mm. I want the questions to do the talk. Yeah, you're always so curious to see the questions. Yeah, question. because I feel like they'll build up the... I even like the way Una Shikana We have a general order. topic. Yeah. But it's ne- sometimes it's not even what makes the cut your title. Yeah. So I never like to dwell too much yeah. on the topic. Yeah. So let's just do the questions. Hey, Una Kunga anxious kufungo is on All right. All right. Today then also... Oh, I got like the last one. That's like number? 17. 30. Okay, no, this cool. one has built up, built up, built up. So, yeah, okay. Tension. Yeah. Does your partner make you better? What role do they play as your partner that makes you better? Wow. Thank you so much for having me on the show. And thank you so much for asking me <laughs> impactful questions. Does do I make you better? Make... Yes. Yeah, my partner makes me better. Mm-hmm. Um, 
But then my partner happens to be you okay. as well. Just, just you <laughs> what role do I play then? I think you have your strong values um, as yourself as an individual. No, see, see, instability. see political instability. See, I'm getting there. <laughs> you know, attack from neighbors, drought, <laughs> yeah. climate change. Uh-huh. But for example, the way like you, the way you wake up so early, because I've never been an early, I've never been an early bird. I hate waking up so early. You know, like today I woke up and we were supposed to go to the gym at, at six. So my trainer, Akatua Kasema, um, I don't think we'll go to the gym. Ah, it's okay, bro. We'll just meet on Thursday. <laughs> and I continue sleeping, you know. But I like the way like you have a certain, there's a way you, you, you're a bit orderly. You know, I tend to operate more or less like a creative. I want to wake up a bit later. I'm drag a, things, I'm more of a push, person. push things until the next day. So I like I admire that because it's okay. I'm kapi ami siwezi yapa ondani siwezi baki ondani abed apo like yeah, you know, like like I don't know what. Um, what maybe you I, need to answer? Okay, <laughs> I think you do make me a How? better person. I think. Um, hey, Leo Maswali is not the and that's just question one. Did you see a comedy? I'm going to have to do a straw ray for you. I think, I think, I answer 17, number 17 as the last question in Akwanga. As a first question, it's usually very difficult. It's not. No, because you're like starting from Numa. Oh, the problem okay, is you don't like challenges. Okay, fine. Uh, what role do they play as your partner that makes you better? Mm. First I think, of all, you need to start with, do, do I, I make you better? Myself as Ben, do I make you better? To do a leo na apa apa? Yes, you do. How? Um, I think you're very involved in my things and you're able to come in and you say okay una slack up mm. okay you're you're not putting it enough gear i'm aware i think stuck and yeah. that way you're able like to just help me out of the rut you have like an example way. i'm just with something very emotional to be like my business. yeah <laughs> so let's not go there yeah, no we need to go there there's slightly. a part b do you in any way enable in any of your partner's bad habits i think i do sometimes which ones Psycho podcast Ilienda. <laughs> well, well. <laughs> Next question. <laughs> See ya. Anyone is ready to address that? The second podcast is coming back. Uh, we are actually in the middle of when we're in a transition. <laughs> That's what we're doing. <laughs> We're trying to buy new gear. So, like, by the time we come back, you guys will notice a whole new <laughs> difference. <laughs> so, I think I enable your, your bad be- habits in that. Mm. When you, you get stuck, mm. you don't like talking about... Just, 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 just. I, we need two glasses there. Okay, but they are going to your glass. Like, how we have... So, we need, um in that sense, like me, ukianza kunyamazia kitu, because I, you tend to get emotional about things. Yeah. I tend to also nyamazia, and sometimes you just need someone to push you. Mm. Maybe to get me record psycho podcast. Yeah. Uh, do what bad habits do I enable you to continue doing? It's beautiful that I have no bad habits. You me. have a lot. You have a lot of bad habits. But none come to mind. Um, could it be that the, they don't exist? No, it could be there are actually so many. I need to start arranging them in an ascending Same order. One. You know, like the least problematic, <laughs> the most. I'd say. Oh wow, man, this is crazy. What bad habit of I, yours do you I don't you, think do I have I, any guys. I, so what bad perfect. habit? What bad habit do I have? Uh, Self, I think we need to edit out it, but it's shorter so that we can 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 answer chap chap. What bad habits do I allow you to continue? Sometimes I allow you to be too comfortable. How? Like now, like for example, with 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 Maua. I, hey. I I think I tolerated you not wearing those outfits for too long. And I think you should be like, are you wearing anything Maua right now? No. And do you think that's a good thing? Do you thing? think it was a time like, to address it? Where were you? No, Ben, actually, no. That's, this is not the time. No, <laughs> you see, that's, the, that's the, some of the bad habits that I encourage. Because Fair sometimes enough. I'm just trying to run away from an argument or like I don't want it to explode. So I'm like, you know what? Can't wait for the argument Potters. after this. The importance <laughs> is peace. Choose one. This is number 14. Do you think being loyal is a role and responsibility of your relationship? Do you think that being loyal is a role and responsibility of your relationship? I don't know if it's a role and mm. responsibility. I think we needed to define. Can we get our phones and define? What, what, roles what are we and defining? Res- roles and responsibilities, what they mean. I don't think they're that complicated. Like, okay, then explain them to me then. In roles, this context. 
Roles is what you <laughs> <laughs> But then you know I was getting a bit anxious about the live recording because I was like, what if I find such hard questions, you know? And then it takes so long to answer. And then the guys in the crowd are like, Kume <laughs> like, I have so much pressure. So when you guys come to the live recording, I've also not seen those questions. So At least to pole pole on that day. Um, so do you think that being uh, loyal is a role? And oh, we were talking about roles and responsibilities. Uh, a role mm. is your is your part that is the is the part that you play. <laughs> okay. A responsibility mm. is the part that you <laughs> that you're supposed to play. Imagine to get to Miriam Webster. No, uh, uh, roles and responsibilities. Okay, I'm Google to see. Okay. <laughs> okay. 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 your live recording. <laughs> but do you think it is? Do you think that being loyal is a role and responsibility? Yes, I think it should be. Um... I don't know. For me, it seems bigger than... It's like a requirement. How long are, how long are you taking to Google? See, I'm also answering. Okay. Like, I'm only one person. Okay. But it's about the workplace. Oh, who are you more... I, uh, go to question B. Who are you more loyal to? Your partner or family and close friends? Wow, this is... I'd love to know as well. Like this. In order of, like, yeah, loyalty? yeah. Emmy, you guys don't make me choose between my family and anyone else. <laughs> and you, I already have the answer. What's the answer? There is no answer. Oh, what's the question? Sorry. Who are you more loyal to? Your partner or family and close friends? Oh, let me tell you something. I consider Ben family because we we are forming a family right now. So I can't separate between family and family and friends. Hey. So. Politically correct <laughs> answers. Says no. W women's rep 2022. You, we are all in the same boat. Independent <laughs> candidate. You? It's partner, family, friends. Once you once you get involved with your partner, you become one. That's beautiful. I, I also agree. It's yeah. just that you are also family. No, 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 no. You know this, what the question it, is, means. Isn't this a family? No, you know what the question means. And stop trying to be smart. <laughs> It's partner. There's 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 partner I can here. Feel the tension. It's very tense. <laughs> there's partner here. There's family. No, there's I was joking. Friends. Of course. Say it. Partner. He called out a chaser for family <laughs> gathering so that they know their place. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you can't say it so loudly anymore. <laughs> I love all of them. No, but yeah, it's you. Of course, come first. No yes. jokes. Anyway, all that to say, you come first. Yeah. So, so you say, so that peer close no, friends see, it your, was, after family. <laughs> no, it was family and friends in one category and then your partner. So it oh. was, yeah. I'm a, Leo will understand this if it's See, that's what Barak has said. Yeah. Okay. Assuming, uh, but do you have you found roles and responsibilities? Um, which one are you using? <laughs> Siemens. Remember Siemens? I will go to the next question. It's not being a bully. Assuming that at this stage of your relationship, you are more loyal to your partner now. At what stage of your relationship did this change? Okay, but define, okay, how do you know that you're more loyal to me than your family or your friends? No, like if there was a tough, mm. um, and the tough was between you and my family, <laughs> I would uh, go for prayers. <laughs> 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 I involve two therapists. So one is, inside, one inside. What is loyalty in this case? Because the truth is, mm. I don't see a situation where there would ever be like, there, in... In my mind, with the knowledge that I have now, I don't see a tough. Between a tough you can I... exist between your family and your partner. A tough can exist. No, I'm, I'm speaking about from my experience, not from far removed people. Like, the way I see you relating with my family, mm. I think there's a lot of respect. But you know, like, tough, it's not like people sit down and, and do tough. Like, hey, this year I must have a tough with, with <laughs> the family. It just comes up out of nowhere. Mm -hmm. It's a clash of ideas. So you're saying, opinions. assuming at, that at this stage of your relationship, you're more loyal to your partner now, at what stage of your relationship did this change? No, we, you answering the, we were talking about the tough between families. And, yeah. And and, and 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 partner. Okay. So in that case, what was your question? So we'll go to explain mm -hmm. why partner should come first. It was based off of this question. I wanted to answer this question. Who are you more loyal to? This is question. We B. said partner, then uh -huh. family friends. Okay. Assuming that at this stage of your relationship you're more loyal to your partner now, at what stage of your relationship did this change? That's what I wanted to answer. Mm, okay. Um is there a specific moment I can I can imagine that happened? Tell us. I don't think so. It just always felt like I had, I always had your back from the oh, beginning. Yeah. 
Oh. And you? Personally, I'm, I'm a very loyal person. Like, from a personal level. So, <laughs> no, 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 no. Flowers to Tajibaya. <laughs> um, so I'd say uh, from the onset, I knew that I was supposed to be loyal. That's why I took a lot of time before committing. That's why I was going and coming back because, you know, once I... So once for I you, it was that, from the get-go? From the, from the get-go, yeah. I'd say from the get-go. Okay. Time. Number 10. Do you keep each other accountable? I think we do so, especially when it comes to work things. We do. I have failed with the psycho podcast. Please blame me. Ni miss jawekelea pressure. So just blame me. No, by the way, those equipment zina kam. Ziko? Ziko? Atlantic Ocean. Kuliko na shida iji. Kutubu kile yo ship. So it's canal. Yo ship ilifunga. So it's canal. So say yo gini lizunguka the Atlantic. Do you think we keep each other accountable? I think we do. We do because most of our goals are also shared. Okay, yeah. So if one person is slacking, it will kind of affect the other person. Yeah. How painful is the process when keeping each other accountable for you? It's a sensitive process because um, sometimes uh, you, you you touch sensitive areas you, or you or, or maybe you touch a nerve, you know. Mm. So there's some areas that people don't like talking about. Uh, maybe maybe you've not been doing something because you're insecure about it. Maybe you maybe you've you're been scared fearful. of moving. Yeah, you're scared of moving, or you know where the problem is, but you feel like it's too big. Mm. Or you also know where that the problem is your fault. But touch him to procrastination, a busy, or procrastination, to, yeah. you know. Like I think it's a very sensitive thing, and it's it's the thing I like about us is that both of us low key love chaos. You know, so, so. <laughs> you don't love chaos. <laughs> and I will love to be branded. <laughs> you love so uh, you, you love chaos. You love chaos. You love chaos. I mean, even the team, the, the team here can attest to that. You know, <laughs> I don't like chaos. You like chaos. So, so uh, it's one of those things. Sometimes you're like. Come and buy and buy. I'm ready for this. I'm, I'm ready for this war. I think so. Time. And I think this conversation, Ben, it will open up the psycho podcast. Come out to Jamaliza <laughs> because it's been a thorn in my flesh. But oh, thank God for this conversation. But journey and be personally. See, because I've been waiting now, I have decided. Come and buy. Come and buy. Come and buy. If bad, bad. Yeah. I think I agree with what you're saying. Mm -hmm. When you're being kept accountable by your partner, what is the first thing you do? Do you accept, fight back, and push back? Depends on the situation. Sometimes I accept. Sometimes. When do you ever accept? Can we stop lying? See, like today with the psycho podcast, sinime kubali makosa. Because you girls could fight up, like surely. But we actually dropped an episode like three weeks ago on child child online protection. You did, did you even watch those was episodes? In but the, did you even watch those episodes <laughs> on did, child online protection? I did. Ben. What did we talk about on the last episode? No, I know you did like five episodes. Okay, yeah. yeah. So. You're right. So, so uh, um, sometimes, what's the, repeat the question again. What's the first thing you do when I'm holding you account accountable? Do you accept, do you fight, or do you push back? What's yours? Mine is to fight back. I'm not ready to accept. Fight and push back. Yeah, you rarely accept. Yeah. You rarely ap apologize. What do I need to apologize for? See, you're holding me accountable over my own things. But so already, you kishiko kwa makosa. But see, mambo na kishiko makosa. See, it's something I'm supposed to do. Okay, but uh, but yes, you do fight back a lot. For me, I think I accept a lot of times. I'm a very, like anyone who's interacted with me knows how gentle I am and how uh, calm, humble. Do you have more <laughs> positive values I can say? But I, I, I fight back sometimes when I'm trying to run away from something or when I'm when, when it's an, an emotive thing. And mostly, in fact, at Asai, I've not been, I'm not having issues right now with the Psycho Podcast. I used to have issues with the Psycho Podcast when it started blowing up. Because I didn't believe that people wanted to hear me speak about so this topic. So where's the episode? See, I thought you accept. I accept. Why are you fighting back? Why are you pushing back? <laughs> <laughs> oh, guys, you have seen it first time. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so how about it? Oh, this is number down. seven. Did you have a formal sit-down conversation about roles and responsibilities, or did they just fall into place naturally? What do you think? I think we're both very strong-headed. Okay. So we had to have a sit down on this one. Kosababu, we had to fight. Kosababu, it was not going to be easy, you know? Yeah. Um, I don't know if there are more questions about, as, as specific questions about roles, who does this, who does the other. Maybe we'll, we'll find see. them. Maybe we'll find them. Formal sit down suggests that we had a civil conversation. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that did not happen. <laughs> what happened? See, we, I think for us, nothing was set on stone. But we found our way by 
fighting a little bit, like misunderstanding tension, each other. Tension yeah. when you know. But I think with that now we were forced to communicate and actually say, this is what my, I don't want to use the word expectations, for, but for lack of a way, better word, these are my mm. expectations of you. Mm. You did the same and then we were able to find a middle ground. Yeah, but of course it starts with tension, you know. Mm -hmm. It started with tension and I think the first tension point was cooking. <laughs> the, the cooking part brought a lot of heat. Wanjiru doesn't even want to talk about it. Yeah. But that was our first uh, tension point. But we sat down and we <laughs> involved a lawyer, a priest and a chief. <laughs> and we signed a contract. And we signed a contract. And now everyone <laughs> follows that contract. <laughs> Hopefully. <laughs> Hopefully. Let me scan on it. Next question. 16. Which question did you answer? Seven. seven. Then you always get seven. Yeah. I am the complete. What experiences did you have in life that made you perfect for the role of husband and wife that each of you currently play for your partner? Did I hear perfect? Yeah. Can you repeat that question? What experiences mm. did you have in life mm. that made you perfect for the roles of husband and wife that each of you currently play for your partner? So if I say none, that's the end of the question. Yeah. No, but I don't consider you a perfect husband. Yeah. And I don't think you consider me a perfect wife. Give me, give me, the, give me that I read for myself. Ah, you were just trying to do that. <laughs> Come on, Lisha Shika. <laughs> what experiences do you, did you have in life that made you a perfect I don't know if they're experiences, but it's just been continually surrounding myself with people I can speak to freely mm -hmm. about what this new role means, um, what it looks like, people who are independent thinkers as well, um, so that you could not be trapped in the sort of like traditional sense of what the role means. Yeah. So to also surround myself with independent thinkers because I tend to consider myself one. An independent thinker. To, would you like to argue? Would you like to... <laughs> well, I mean, you're very independent. <laughs> yeah. So such like things. I think, I don't think it's an experience and I don't think the question should have perfect because mm. that doesn't exist. Mm -hmm. But it's just like constantly surrounding myself, be it my mother, your mom, my friends, mm. both single and married. So the entire spectrum. Okay, that's interesting because, uh, you know, I, I consider, I, I've always wanted to make it. And I know having a perfect, having a a, 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 um, a well structured family is part of is part of that. It's how you define success. It's how I define success. All right. So uh, my my experiencing my experiences of wanting to live a better life. Uh, that means I was not living the best <laughs> life. Like una, una. <laughs> that means I was not living the best life. Mm. So I think that is what makes me think that, yo, I need to set up like, um, I need to set myself up for the perfect life that I want to live. And that is dependent on the relationship that I will have in future. So it's not really like an experience for you. It's a desire. It's a desire. For the life that you want for yourself. It's a desire. Uh, that's that's one. But also the, one, the other one, of, of course, is the, the circle of people that I've kept around. Most of okay. my friends are married. They have they have, they have babies. Mm. Some of them are not. Some of them are still newly wed. Some of them are about to turn one year, mm. so one year, one year, one years old mm. in in marriage. Uh, so I think those are some of the few. Those are some of the experiences I would say. Okay. Um, your turn. You feel like we are rushing these questions? No. Okay. In your relationship. Number? This is number 13, mm. and I got 14 as well. And I got seven. So 14 is seven is a multiple of 14. What's the relationship? 14 with minus 13? one is 13. Me know I'm deep. <laughs> In your relationship, are you blindly supporting? I. <laughs> In your relationship, are you blindly supportive in public spaces? Even if your partner is wrong, would you still support them as far as public friends or family are concerned? This is a very interesting question. You know what I think we should do? Yeah. I shouldn't answer for myself. You mm. answer for me. Do you think I blindly support you? Even when when what you're saying is... No. <laughs> okay. You don't. And that has always been a very I thought that... I think that's, that's okay, no? Uh, I don't do it no, disrespectfully. I mean, I mean, you can just support me in public. I love to in your I don't do it disrespectfully, though. Of course, though. you don't do it disrespectfully. But I always want you, like, to be on my side. Even when you don't make sense? Yeah! <laughs> that's what being means. That's my expectation. <laughs> Ex expectation. Uh, at least, because, okay, at what least about I don't you? do it disrespectfully. Of course, you're very respectful. But I still need you to support me in public, even when you feel like I'm the one who's gone, who's who's... 
who's not being understood. Because in most instances, <laughs> it's just that people just don't understand. I also, I, it could be that I also don't agree with your thinking. But you support blindly at that moment. Then you end up home and say, Mzee wangu, mimi hapa siku elewa jinsi ambavyo ulileta hili swala. Alafu na kwambie basi mke wangu kama hapa ukae hapa nikubariki kwanza alafu nikuambie kwa nini hilo jambo lilitendeka hivyo. No, but that, there should be a place for What about you thinking. then? Answer the question. Do I think you support me even in your wrong publicly? I don't think so. I think you when I'm wrong you actually say that I actually don't agree with this. Like what instance? Like even when we're discussing things to do with the industry when I air a view that you don't necessarily agree with you counter it. No, I'm talking, that's, that's like a discussion. Mm. I don't think this is necessarily about a discussion. This is also about... But that's how I pegged my answer with you. In your relationship, let, let, me, just, let me just read it again. Mm. Leo, Leo, tunaenda pole pole sana. Mm. In your relationship, are you blindly supportive in public spaces? Even if your partner in, in, is wrong, would you still support them as far as the public, family, friends are concerned? Because I think you should be able to cover your partner, especially in public. Uh, you should be okay, able to start. What, what instances are we talking about? Because me in my head, mm. I'm registering and maybe we're talking about two different things. Mm. For me, I'm thinking about discussion. So if you come with something, let's say, that's factually wrong. No discussions. That, no, no, that's where I'm coming from. Uh, this is eight. Remember, I got seven. Seven plus one, eight. <laughs> I got 13. 14 minus one? 13. Yes. <laughs> to uh to what a this is this is a b c so a is to what degree are you responsible for your partner's happiness joy and fulfillment to what degree are you responsible for mine i think we can answer for for each other mm. <laughs> i think like like like, like uh, i'd say nine okay nine point five because even when we don't even when we we're having a bad day and or when when one of us makes each other angry before recording uh, that's that just takes the whole recording south. Like we have yeah. to have a serious conversation that we have to to shake ourselves up uh, before the before the recording. Even when I'm going for interviews, we would say for me, mm. for you, how yeah, ten or twelve. Because what? Ben, for me, mm. when it's a recording, I'm never able to separate. But I can go about my own life. Like if come to Mekosana or we have mm. a fight, yeah. I'm able to separate and know like okay. It doesn't have to affect work. It doesn't have to affect if I'm meeting someone. For you, it affects everything about your day. If it doesn't, you're a psychopath. <laughs> okay. How do you go no, about... No, but sometimes there's that separation that I think I've mastered now. <sighs> okay. Yeah. Uh, B, where do you think the line... Where do you think the line between individual and partner responsibility begin and end? You answer. Because <laughs> you're trying to find my answer. I, I love you. Know, we correct. Also, trying to internalize it. So, you live it a quarter Where do you think the line? Between... Where do you think the line, the, the line between individual and partner responsibility begin and end? I think when we first started dating, when the relationship was young, mm. I still had the insecurities about you leaving. Um, the line was very thin, so it was almost like I was latching onto you, the fear that you don't like you don't want to lose someone. But of course, as you grow into the relationship, you. Mm. Um, affirm me with separate with different things that you do. Yeah, you always that you're like here. I'm mm. So, but now when in the relationship matured, I matured. Mm. It kind of feels that now there is like a a nice mm. demarcation where you can leave me alone and I won't feel the need to be around you twenty four seven. For real. I was okay. the happiest at her in Turkey. Uh, okay, okay. That was because it was for a week. <laughs> um, <laughs> where do you think the line between individual and partner responsibility begins and ends? I think that line is very thin. In my opinion, I feel like if 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 you're having trouble with your partner, it might easily affect the output of your of your life or, or how you do stuff. I've been with my friends even before they go on stage, like they're just mad. Because of a concern. Yeah, because of a home, because of a home, because of a perform vibe. Your song is soft, ni zook, like in any perform, come on hip hop, yeah, West Coast, yeah, to park, you know. Mungu wana weza, you know, something like that, man, you know. So I think that line is thin, very thin right. for me. But I still think you need to get, I, I don't know if it's possible, like mm. to, to separate both. You, I you, think you're able. You, you're saying with it's time, very with possible. With time, yeah. But it's come with time. Okay. Like, I think now after the marriage is when, like, I've settled really, really well into that now, mm -hmm. proper demarcation. Yeah. And to, uh, like, last year, I think I, don't, I didn't struggle with it. Also, mm. therapy really helped because you develop some sort of 
self-awareness. So I think I wouldn't even say marriage when I started therapy. Mm. Yeah. Okay. In your experience in this and previous relationships, have you ever felt like your partners made you feel responsible for their happiness or joy? <laughs> then I think you can answer. This podcast is here. Because I have experiences back to back to back, you know, like at some point I think I was, uh, I was, the, my, I was my partner's therapist, you know. You know, I've dated Father, people. Father, because she had uh, daddy issues. I had a lot of people. Okay. Well, I wasn't preying on the ones who have daddy issues. <laughs> like, like now, <laughs> no one to look like that. Mm. But, you know, they, of course, I've dated people who wanted to, you to be their source of joy. Now, Kim Kasirisha, they even threatened to kill themselves. So you're like, okay, so, so, you know, you don't want to be, you don't want to live with that. So mm. you have to cancel your whole day, go, of... st go stay with them the mm. whole day, just trying to cheer them up. Um, and, and is it weird that I've had relationships that have, are like back this? Back to back to back. I can say oh, maybe one or two that are not like this. Am I toxic? <laughs> <laughs> maybe you need to see your no therapist way. more. But that's not the case in this. I don't know. But yes, I've been... But it comes with a lot of growth, a lot of self-help, self-work. Uh, 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 that, you know, at that point, when you're dating somebody who has emotional damage... Emotional damage! You're just like, ah, you know, at first you you like the clinginess. You know, you're like, Sasa, oh, you me, me, and your Museveni, yeah. and like all the shots, yeah. <laughs> and then it starts like that, you know, you you, you feel nice because they're, they're being very obsessive with you. Mm. And then it starts going, you know, it takes a very serious cycle you're like, turn, this is you know? not what I signed like up when, for. When you make her mad, her whole day is south, she doesn't now want to pursue her dreams, she wants to die, she wants to do what? At some point you told me you were fixing the, the issues at home. Between the oh man, you become the, everything. The, the relatives as well. You you fix everything because now at this point you've become everything. You've never dated people who have these issues. Not for long. For how like how many days? <laughs> With it, <Yeah>. ah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. So for my, my for me, I've, I've been in such scenarios, and they at first zinazanga ziki fiti because you feel like you're the center of their world, but then now you start feeling that burden. Yeah. And you're like, I'm not Jesus, man. Yeah. yeah. And you drop the burdens. Yeah. Are the roles... Let me see if I'm finished. Okay. Yes, I'm finished. 15. Yeah. Are the roles and responsibilities in your relationship geared to achieving a specific goal? Are the roles and responsibilities geared to achieving a specific goal? I think they are. They because are. We set, we set down some goals. Like Together. Some yeah. Do you remember like two years or three years ago, we had uh, we were writing uh, what we want to achieve in a jar. And we even did a YouTube video on that. Do you mm -hmm. remember? Mm -hmm. I don't, think we did a YouTube... <laughs> I don't think we did a YouTube video. We had said we would, but I did never... Because mm -mm. I still think I have that. I still have those yeah, two things. Yeah, but we never got around to, to doing to Cape it. Town. No, we to never Europe. got around to posting it on YouTube. Oh, yeah, but, we, but, but I remember. So they were joint. And now when we look back, we see we've achieved a lot yeah. of those, you know. Yeah. But was a Europe, but it's a manifest. I Anyone agree. Anyone works at the German embassy. No, young we are Europe. You want to do something, do something young now. Young we are Europe in my manifest. Okay. 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 Do you think that if you worked more as a team, you would have less disagreements? No, you will have more. <laughs> <laughs> if you worked as a team. Wait, what does that mean? Like if you're working? <laughs> could be like recording. <laughs> Talk about the most awkward thing ever. <laughs> Do you think that if you worked, what would I do like as a selfie fire? I could edit a lot of nonsense. Do you think that if you worked more as a team, you would have less disagreements? I. What do you think? As a team, I still think you'll have disagreements because personalities but are still different. But will they different. be less? That is the question. <sighs> yeah, they might be. They, they will be less. They'll I agree. Less. It takes I a lot of humility. So. Yeah. It takes a lot of humility to accept some corrections and it takes more humility to accept that this person is just different from you and the way they do things is not how you would want to do things. I agree. I from agree. a small thing like as driving. Every time you're driving me, I'm always like, woof. But it was even what was shave. said in church, I think. What? That if you work in agreement, yeah. that things tend to be smoother and, ten and things tend to work yes. um, easier for you. It doesn't mean that there won't be any kind of friction or hardships, but it means like it will be easier. Yeah, it will be easier because you're solving things as uh, two. Mm. You know, you, you, you're getting a piece of this one, this mind. And a piece of this mind. And let me tell you, this is the smartest mind around. But your, your humility, you accept personality differences. That's the biggest challenge. Yeah. Biggest, cha biggest challenge in everything. And so we're still things. learning it. So, but the inverse also. Yeah. 
what about your past experiences? I always like the way you know people can go their past experiences. Like no, I, actually, no, I'm, so, I'm actually not. Yeah. Um, what about your past experiences? What about them? How did it work when did you guys also have common goals? No, we were not that like. So how did that play out? Never did. That's why we broke up. <laughs> <laughs> well, that was the end of that. <laughs> yeah, that, that, that question well answered. You know? Yeah. I, I think um, we were not that emotionally mature. Mm. I think we were still even growing. for you. Yeah. So what that will do is that sometimes we just keep breaking up. We will end on a day to you, then we will end it. And it was just chaotic. It was mm. just a chaotic season. What about you? No, that's why it ended. And thank the Lord that that... You are really traumatized. Ima, eh? Imeisha kabisa. Mm. I think, Dead and bad. I think at the first date, you can go to a therapist. But like a movie. Strong of you to assume first date. <laughs> Number four, what roles... And expectations did you have through the transitions of this relationship, courting, <laughs> dating, engaged, and married? Please give examples for each stage. So we can start with the roles and expectations did you have did you have through the transitions of the relationship? Let's start with courting. Courting, I think it was just that you take me out. I was young, I was stupid, foolish. No, actually it's the relationship, then we go courting. Dating. See, mm. What's courting? Up, well, how many stages are there in a relationship? Yeah, hey, stages. One, two, three, four, five. Because there's a relationship, there's courting, there's dating, there's engagement, there's marriage. Ah, uh, no. Let's just do... Let's do... Relationship, let's do relationship as and, one. Relationship as one and then courting, then marriage. What's courting? I don't know. So we just do relationship, then marriage. Okay. Yeah. No, let's do relationship, mm. engagement, and marriage. Let's move courting. Because I never understand what courting yeah, is. Yeah, <laughs> same here. Um, so relationship that you'd like when we first started going out, yeah, what that you'd and take me out, yeah. such things. Yeah, how was it? You really want me to go there. <laughs> <laughs> you really want me to go there. I'd rather. Actually, I do. I would rather not publicly. <laughs> huh? I have your back publicly. <laughs> I'm used to go. You just wanted. More. I have your back. You know, imagine you don't have to explain okay, anything. Okay, I have okay, your okay. back publicly. Um, what roles did I have during that period? Not roles not, and not, expectations. Not. not not much. I just expected you to be loyal, by the way. My bow was so low. You have no <laughs> idea. <laughs> uh, what about engagement? Um, you know, our engagement period was such a haze for me because wedding planning just took over. So I never mm-hmm. got time to really, really just enjoy. Have so maybe that's what I was saying. We do relationships, then marriage. For okay. you, did you have any for engagement? Engagement, I just expected you to... Be loyal. No, 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 more than loyal. To uh, like to come to come alive into this whole process. Yeah, going to wedding because I'm bullying. I'm gonna make tensions more. My pressure mingi. Bado ko apu. Bado ko shua kamara rafa ko itana husband. Kamara rafa ko itana partner. Niko like what is all this drama? And then now there's marriage. Mm. Give examples for each stage. So what rules and expectations did you have as you went through the transition of marriage? I think also for marriage was a lot of support. Mm-hmm. Obviously, you know the kind of person I am. Yeah, I value independent thinking. Mm. I'm not really traditional when it comes to gender roles, so just that kind of support. Mm. Yeah, and understanding. Yeah, okay. I mean, with marriage as well, is that you know everyone comes alive into the institution because now we become one. Mm-hmm. But I what also... is this coming alive? Like uhuraye? No, she likes us akupika. Wasn't supposed to go there. <laughs> Um, there's just some things that I expected, and then um, I think we've I think we've achieved uh, a good number of those. <laughs> we've achieved a good number of those. Publicly, would I cover? Na cover. Yeah, publicly, na cover. Publicly, you have my back. Publicly, I have your back. But <laughs> let's say let's say we are we are about to get there. We are, I'm taking you slowly, it's day, day by it's day. Me. It's number five. Yeah. In a previous episode, you talked about oof, a husband compensating a wife during their maternity leave. Because of the sacrifice being made for the family. What are your thoughts? I feel like truly actually this hanging, we air our thoughts. I'm not for it. I'm not for it. I'm not for it at all. I don't think a wife should be compensated. Well, not unless like you're you're like you're super rich, like you have so much money. You're like, my wife, I want to give you two Lamborghinis and a mansion for giving me babies. But out of like as a gift, that's okay. As a gift, that's really okay. Like I would gift you um, for for doing that, but it's, it should not be like 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 this is like a rule that I should follow that I should compensate you 
for 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 giving birth because you know when you give birth you're not alone we are together kwa nani uchunua si mimi nakuwa nikichunua hapo kiamko push menishika much you know like 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 you saw the video that daddy mato posted did you see he he they were together through the whole season you're not alone when you're pushing the baby comes out of you but it's from us both you know <laughs> So the compensation should genuinely be for both of us. We should be compensated for going through that. What do you think Wanjiru? What should you be compensated for? So being there for you know it's just that you you um, like you you're carrying the baby and it's because also biologically there's no way I can carry the baby so I'm like happy. For large intestine small intestine there's no space. Mm. But but the the woman is mm. blessed to to be able to accommodate and to carry a child. Mm-hmm. And as much as the child is inside of you and I don't know what you're going through and I don't understand the pain and the struggles and the challenges that you're going through <laughs> we are still together you know <laughs> and I, I'm also there throughout the the whole process from from day one literally from day one all the way to delivery process I think what you so need think to anyone do should be compensated before we are able to answer this question maybe we can answer it in the live when people come I want to offer you a challenge okay All right. Mean, they, they will eat for me the first alive. time, for the first time, <laughs> we're going to keep this question for the live and answer it, okay? But before that, because we have a few days, yeah. I'd like for you to do me a favor. Okay. Sit down with Mike. Mm-hmm. Understand his life. Because mm. he have a newborn, okay? Mm-hmm. So you understand his life, shadow him, spend a day with him. I'll schedule I'll even do so much for you. I'll schedule your calendar. Okay. Okay. And then you spend another day with Sophie. Okay. All right. So you see it from a man's perspective and then you see it from a woman's perspective. Okay. And then we can answer this question on the live. But I have spent so much time with him. I have a rough idea. Um no. Now this time you're not discussing anything about oh, music. But, but, but I hope in this podcast we are allowing independent thinking. We are completely completely. No, Me this no j- joyride is a very no, democratic no fights, space. No nothing. Yeah. And the conversation you have with Mike and Sophie is simply about parenting I and how I it have. has impacted you're spending an entire day So like we even have how many weekends do we have till the third? But which which entire day is this na bado lazima tutafa logistics za hivi ni bado tuna mazana mko hiyo. Saturday na come. Saturday na Saturday. Like Easter is coming. They're traveling. No they're not. Okay. So we'll do that, okay? Yes. So is that okay? We can do that and then we answer it on the live. <laughs> When you have perspectives. So. <laughs> I really have kujibu, perspective. Kujibu hapa bila mm, perspective. I really have perspective. How do you handle your partner when they fall short of their roles and responsibilities? I'm very very tolerant. What did he say? <laughs> no, you know, this podcast people are learning more about us. I'm also learning about us as well. The, the show like, "Woof, come on, you're not going to tolerant." Uko hapo na wase kwa kwa premier. Mimi niko hapo kwa comments. Guy, kumbe kana kuanga hivyo. I I I have struggled with tolerance in the past. And in episode one. I said Ben is not the is not the best at acknowledging growth. In episode one, transitions towards the end, I said Ben is never the best in acknowledging growth in a human being. He will not compliment you. He will not give credit where it's due. I already said it. I called it in episode one. So even in episode nine, when I'm experiencing the same, I am not surprised. But that's not true. Can I finish I, my statement? Okay. I used to struggle with tolerance, but right now. When you realize that you have nowhere to dump this person and you you're stuck in the same home, mm. you that kind of already forces you to develop some form of tolerance. So I think I become more tolerant. Okay, I mean it's not it's not bad to state your ambitions, <laughs> but I I believe um, I told you guys, I told you. No, you've improved. You've really improved uh, from There's no gun to your head imagine imagine you, you, you have it's, you have it's democratic thinking uh but my my let me answer for for myself how do you handle your partner when they fall short of their roles and responsibilities at first i was i, I just I, i like our first months in marriage I've, i still i was still thinking as my like i'm still living alone <laughs> so if i find like where me atani shavi to zako if me i can arrange mine and leave yours until one day <laughs> i ask to myself Hey. Like we're living together and this is your wife and she's and she's probably never going to change on some things so now nowadays i if i'm arranging mine i'll arrange yours even when i don't tell you sometimes you find your things well done you think they just magically huh? I'm, how am i lying do you fold me as a flock in 
of, okay, f- folding clothes is a bit personal. Like that you have to do for yourself. <laughs> like folding clothes takes a lot of energy, you know? <laughs> and you're not ready to sign but up like, for whenever, mine. Like for, whenever I'm, I'm like going to get the shoes from the balcony after they've been washed, I take even yours and I go and BM. arrange them well. BM. What's BM? BM minimal. No, that's not <laughs> you see, that's not bare minimum. I'm that's joking, effort, I'm joking, you know. I'm joking, I'm joking. Even when whenever like you leave your like whenever we're preparing in the morning, uh, you and you leave, uh, let's say you've left uh, some clothes like still on the bed. You kind of, you're kind of painting me as a messy person, which is not true. You are not messy at all. <laughs> yeah, very, I am not. Very, very I neat, am not. Super neat, super neat. So how this do you that handle? I'm extra neat. How do you handle? So now I've, I've grown into uh, accepting that you have your shortcomings and there's nothing that's gonna change. I, I'm, I'm, I'm also not the be, I'm also not the best person to be honest. I'm, I've I've not go, grown into that uh, maturity. I, I've not accepted You're that. You're struggling. I'm struggling. Super and that's struggling. That's the most honest answer you've given since <laughs> you started the joyride. <laughs> no, no, Thank no. you. No, no, no. Miyuki falls short as you know, running boy because I'm just like. Why can't you just do what <laughs> you're supposed so to do? That is so honest. If you do what you're supposed to do, we'll have a smooth sailing. So, yeah. Aya, number three. Have you ever been disappointed by your partner failing to reach your expectation of their roles and responsibilities? A lot of times. How much time <laughs> do I have to vent? <laughs> but, 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 yeah, a lot, a lot of times. And mm. I've still not. But this is a growing to that patient. So you question us, am I to answer season three? <laughs> to an eight, season <laughs> three, 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 yeah. Well, now nothing. Yeah. Um, I have been, severally. But I think practicing tolerance has really, really helped. Yeah. I'll just leave it at that. <laughs> yeah. The rest, it's we so, are all working in so progress. It's politically correct, man. Number six. So number one, Iganya. Let's go try. Wanjiru. So then you give me. Oh, you're supposed to. How did you feel about the diary process? Did your family ask for diary? Did you expect them to? No, I didn't expect them to. They did not ask for diary. Yeah. And how did I feel about the diary process? I don't know. It was, my family was not complicated. So for me, it felt like it was just like, a formality thing. Mm, yeah. So it felt very chill. Actually, I was in the room when they were doing the whole, um, mm. what are they called? Handing over. Yeah, Ben and I, they allowed us to be in the room because I they requested. actually called us. Because I remember, I, mean, I, I mean, told my dad. Me like one shower. Like me, I didn't want to be in the room. Yeah, but me, I told my dad, there's no way a group of people can meet to discuss my life and I'm not in the room. <laughs> so I requested to be in the room and we were in the room. Yeah, I, I think I'd say this. Your dad is like the coolest. Like I found uh, during, I knew he was cool, but during the wedding process and the dowry process, I realized he's the coolest mm, human yeah. being ever, man. Like he made it so easy for me. They were like, you just come however you want to come. We're not yeah. going to ask you for anything. But you, but you know, the, now when somebody tells you that, now you also have uh, more pressure because <laughs> you're, you're like, like what? you know, like you what can- What is too little? Yeah, what is, how, how low is too low? How yeah. high is too high? Majuna zapeleka wako like, hey, sasa katakuwa takana kula. <laughs> you know, like, like I, 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 it was pressure was from myself. Okay. It was not from 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 your family. Your family was so easy. Yeah. So cool. That negotiation process was like the easiest thing. I'm. You see where loyalty to them is also important. It is one hundred percent. I'm very loyal to your folks. Ah, right, number one. I was the one who's reading. You just read one zero. Okay. Number one, guess who got number one? <laughs> <laughs> what traditional roles and responsibilities do you conform to? Not because you're the but traditionalist. Understand what traditional roles and responsibilities? You explain it <laughs> Like what roles? Zakutambo. Mm. Uh, do you like conform to? Ah oh, man, like, like <laughs> if, they come for me, if they come for me, that's okay. But I still believe like they like like, like uh still say know, man, like the, the kitchen is not necessarily my strongest department. No, see it, Ben. Police. I cook. I cook and I, I you know, have but that anyway. one black friend, you know. As a white person, <laughs> I have one black friend, so I'm not racist. <laughs> All I'm saying is that I cook once in a while, but I still um like at the back of my mind, I still believe. That that's not my 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 docket. Well, una juaga ni nani kufixiwa ni nani? Yeah, yeah. What? Bearing. 
do you even care about those those Subaru problems Kenya. are always those are always my problem very yes, Subaru <laughs> Kenya man so you do the thing man no very <laughs> yeah i do know the things but but okay Let what traditional okay time. what well, maybe maybe let's let's just let maybe we can ask this the question like this what traditions are what traditional what traditional roles and yes what traditional roles and responsibilities do you conform to I say matu kweli. Kama yoye agari, like you would rather do it. Not that I can't do it. No. I choose not to. Because you've conformed. <laughs> okay, are you trying to be? No, no. Put fire to kweli kwa. We are all racist. We are all racist. You see? That's not what I'm saying. Like focus that's on that's yourself, not, boo. That's not what I'm saying. But yes. So you've said. See, I have said. Yeah, like you, you barely take Look at care the way we are so strong-headed. That have changed. You, you, you said like for example, you're a guy. You leave it all to me. You, you barely care about it. I, I don't Anna. leave it all to you. Uh, no, it's not like you don't leave it all to me, but you never care. Like the kuna zako gari na squi kuko nyuma, and then even even, time. If, even if I was single, I still wouldn't care. <laughs> Like it's not it's nothing to do with you <laughs> or being in a relationship. Yeah, and, and that's, even if I was single, and that's I factual. still wouldn't even, care. Even even when I was single, I never used to I never used to cook or take care of the kitchen. I used to buy food every day. Those guys who would sell food, they used to know me and they used to know but, what I want. But thank God that you're not that person anymore. Yeah, thank God I'm not that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so how we dealt with the difference? How did we how did you deal with the differences? How um it was actually a serious tense point at first. Uh, it was a, a point of tension. No matter what what do you call it? Tense yeah. point. Tense because point. at this point, King Gerezes. Yeah. So the first time, you know, uh, when Jiru thinks I'm this woke person, I'm you know, feeling a tense point. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I when she thinks I'm so woke, I also think she's so woke. So she cooks today, I cook tomorrow. Hey, I did that for week one. Hey, for week two. Hey, week three. I was like, hey, banami, but then this thing for 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 cooking every day. You have to remove me from this router. <laughs> Nipe to join in, please. Watch out, I'm going for me. Inta for the kitio. And the water that could be up the stairs if you want. But kupika like that alternating thing, like it is just not working for me. No, it wasn't the alternating thing that was a problem. What was the problem? The problem is you didn't want to. Decide what to cook. Oh, that's another one. That's another. So problem. you are okay. Like if I tell you just cook rice and beef, you're okay with that. Okay. Yes, I think that's a bit better. Yeah. But you also waiting for me to also think. Yeah, what you're that's going what to you eat. don't. That's 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 what you don't want. You just yes. want to be told. Um, once in a while. Bring this. No once. <laughs> <laughs> once in a while. Yeah, but the the whole concept of me having to think about Kenya to Napika. It's the it's the yeah. making the decision that you don't like. Yeah. And But I used to okay hate it doing. even when I was a bachelor. You remember? In fact, you have that one black friend, okay? <laughs> most of the You're times. Okay. You I are... used to, <laughs> most of the times I even used to come get food from your place. Uh, this is number nine. A, in your experience in this or previous relationship, are there any roles that you have always left to your partner? Uh, Wanjiru, in your experience um, <laughs> in this or previous relationships, Are there any <laughs> roles that you have left to your partner? Are there roles that you left to your partner? Mm, me, I didn't give them so much power in the others. Mm. Yeah. What does that mean? Like, I don't think to live in your place, I could divide the kazi. Sasa. I don't think our mm. relationships. Oh yeah, that yeah. Much. Me too. Me too. To so, be very honest. So I, I can't say. I can't answer for that. Yeah, me too. And since the question only requires me to answer about past relationships. <laughs> I'm going to keep it at that. <laughs> are there any roles and responsibilities that you think are there any roles or responsibilities that you think are not exclusive to agenda? Are there roles or responsibilities that you think are not exclusive to agenda? Yeah, cooking. Cleaning. Yeah, fair enough. Yeah, like taking care of the car. Yeah. Yeah, imagine, yeah imagine, me imagine, I'm a very imagine, I'm just... a very diplomatic person, very democratic. But but how For realistic you? is it? Cooking, taking care of the car. It's okay. Me, the problem is my personality mm. and the things that I care about. Aki, the mm. car could be the least of my concerns. Like no longer your personality in a Bulgari, I could as long as it can move. Mm. Let's move with it. And by the way, in as much as you're trying to paint like Miss Pendy stories, I could I really want Imagine to learn how. Imagine you answer if your question one. That cook pika utaki kufanya sana. Imagine see me ni metry kufanya. See at TPS taki kufanya. Once in a while nataka ni nengi apo vo kwanza ni chingeza pale pork ribs na na juana bacon. Sisi chingeza leo. Sisi kama mtu anza kula pork ribs na bacon, but 
hiyo ni kukula nguruwe sana i think ben mm. the truth of the matter is and who you are and you can correct me if i'm wrong and don't try to be what is it called yo ku just to bring a counter opinion i'm not if, trying to okay but i'll say this about you mm. i think you would do it you just don't know how to cook you simply just don't know how to like imagine it's not too it's not too much to think about it's just that how do you don't put say it? that they will not trust that lebanese <laughs> beans recipe it's, it's imagine you like, you're other restaurants on a copy your kitu bana <laughs> no imagine it's just that you don't know how to make pork ribs that would you pal you turns yeah it's not that you don't want to cook i mean yes uh, yeah. there's some things that have not naturally have not been Uh, they've not been my point of interest yeah. but i would want to uh, try and learn them so for you it's no. not a gender thing. because it's like not cooking a like, because like cleaning and ensuring the house is clean that's, that's you. That, that i love doing that i always it's feel like you. it's so therapeutic and in fact i get so many ideas whenever i'm doing you're not the best cleaning. at organizing you're the best at cleaning what is that by mean? organizing is you wouldn't know where to put a candle or like the flowers or such like things or like the books to stack them vizuri but you would be great at making sure this place is yeah, clean yeah 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 so i, do, I do, but the, are there some that are gender exclusive no no not really there are none but no the question was who is hmm. that question aki so i made lost is it okay your shit that when they get into kwa kwa live umaki your question unafaa kujibu kwa live Yeah, yeah the, if the lady should be compensated. Ndio tutaanza nayo. Nitaambia MC aanze na hiyo swali. Compensate us. <laughs> eh, this one is long. Number two. Do you think that in your relationship you always give privileges to partners upon them taking on certain roles and responsibilities in the relationship? At least this for this one I don't think so. O e no would repeat that question <laughs> that repeat that question again. Do you I'm think una... just ah, <laughs> <fine now. laughs> Do you think that in your relationship you always give or you give privileges like unani award based on so like ni seven kipika or if I do something you think I'm supposed to do? Um I think before did did you ever give me husband privileges when you were still like dating? I don't know. Do you think I did? I think you only cooked like once at my place and you 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 always used to hate coming to my <laughs> place. You really used to hate coming to that. Understand I'm <laughs> Um so yeah, I only did it once ladies. Uh, oh man, you used to hate it. But I used to give you a lot of like wife privileges. Like what? Like uh, whenever I'm negotiating things, whenever I want to take up a big a big role, whenever I'm doing some serious things, I'd always consult you and your 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 word would be very important. But is that a wife? Yes, that's not something you just that's give your girlfriend. That's not something you give your partner. Imagine that girlfriend you... Germany, break up. <laughs> that's like the way you used to pressure your, your, your some of your exes not to go uh, you know to Europe. Now now imagine I'm now going to been... answer questions Ben if you're going to do this. <laughs> no, it's true. I'm just telling you that when, whenever you're dating Yeah. So let <laughs> no, 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 no. I'm, I'm, I'm like, for, I'm, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a serious thing because when a patanga, like people are just dating, it's a relationship. Then one of them refuses to do masters in favor of this guy. Then that relationship uh, in a kunywa maji, no, like in a sink. Oh, like it doesn't. So now pan out. you get another partner in future. You marry somebody else, but then you never got to do um, like your masters. So those are the privileges that we're talking about. You give somebody. Uh, wife or husband privilege yet they're still you're still dating them so you're mm. saying you gave me a couple okay yeah i'm grateful did you ever give me any see see they cooked once yeah just <laughs> once man it was over not without not without no i'm joking in your experience do you feel in any relationship you give the other party relationship privileges when the other person did not deserve it of course of course like when like when I plead the fifth on that one. Why? <laughs> See, because I don't want to answer it here. Yeah, it's Why too, though? it's too embarrassing for me. I will not publicly incriminate myself. <laughs> so okay, now that's, I'm even curious. I'll tell you. I can tell you. I can tell you okay. for sure. You probably even know it's just that it doesn't come to mind. Okay. But I won't publicly incriminate. Did myself. I give you privileges that you didn't? No. Deserve? Did you give any in in your experience? Do you feel in any relationship mm. you give the other party relationship privileges when the other person did not deserve? Of it? course. Of course like I I always I feel if some most of the times I regret yeah like why did I even allow them to determine Do you this? want to say or you want to plead the fifth Um 
you know, like they, there's some, there's some, uh, there's some relationships I was in that I thought would end up in marriage. In fact, all the relationships I used to get in, I used to, if, and this is since high school. You every still relationship, have a ring for them. Yeah, hey, must say my promise ring up with so far, like, like what is, yeah, the, what is the nonsense of nonsense is this, you know? Uh-huh. And this was like since I would start dating, like in high school, I'd always like think that this is ending up in marriage. So every time we'd break up, I always just think like my life is over. Like I was. Also, also so sad. sad. But tears, your tears terrible. are over. Okay, yeah, last just one. Dating, we have just to enjoy move on. dating. Just enjoy dating. Yeah. In your experience, do you think that privileges given in a relationship are correlated to roles and response? Aki kingereza lo ningumu. Ikwako. This kongs is out. In your experience, do you think that privileges given up in a relationship, given in a relationship, mm. are correlated to roles and responsibilities taken up by the other party? Yes, and that's why they should be done inside. Um, like, like you need to be very sure that this is the person you're going to spend your life with. Or because, someone you want to invest in time. Yeah, because you can't be giving everyone the privilege, the special privileges that are, are only, sub, you know, like the privilege of what career you do, how the trajectory giving of that your up. career. Yeah, giving you can't that give up, that yeah. up to just anyone. Yeah. Man. You have to have really thought through that. Yeah, the, like mm. the master's situation. Yeah, like the master's with. situation. Yeah. Did you ever want to do master's, by the way? Yeah. Or what happened? Are we doing any... You're pleading the fifth again. Okay. <laughs> um, this last two episodes, I'm pleading the fifth a lot. Okay, this is the final question. Thank you so much for just staying throughout this whole uh, episode. Um, are you ready for the final episode? It's number. How many disciples did Jesus have? <laughs> Twelve. But if I say 13, no, I would embarrass 12, you. Yeah. What responsibilities What's does 12 plus one? 13. And I did 13. And I also did 14. <laughs> 14 divided by two, I also did seven. seven. What responsibilities does what your partner? What is this whole bath that we are doing? Because it's all here. connected. What what responsibilities does your partner handle perfectly? The car, for mm. one. Mm. Ah, that one I don't even stress. <laughs> ah, that's right. Maskia got to remember she done my normal business. Yeah. Um, I think that's the one that comes to my mind, amongst many others. Oh, well, the, the fact that you can't remember them means <laughs> that, you know, they're the some bare minimum. I, <laughs> I think some of them I keep to ourselves. I think you're an amazing homemaker. Like, the way you design the house, the way you come up with stuff, the way you come up with sense, you're unbeatable. You're saying Mawa, ah, yeah, yeah, Mawa yeah. Home Edition? Ah, yeah, yeah. You're perfect, perfect, perfect. I think you just do an excellent job. Mm. And I'm very particular about how I like my things. But oh, ukiona, you ukiona, are. Ukiona singiliangi ya nyumba. You are. I like, yeah. <laughs> Oh, you're particular you're, about deco. No. <laughs> yes. I'm very oh, particular. Oh, you I like have an eye. Minim- yeah, I like oh. it minimal. I like it classy. That's why you wanted recliners. Yeah. Yeah. We'll talk about it. <laughs> so the fact that Nonanga Singiliangi your department is because I know like that's you've handled that perfectly, man. Thank you. I think this has been a very intense episode. This episode has gotten heated. Um, <laughs> you can't even believe how many times we've had to pause. To... <laughs> how many times we've had not to record some bits. <laughs> But uh, only now, um, let us know um, what you thought about the questions. Let us yeah. know if you relate to some of the questions that we've had on this episode. I know a lot of you have been asking that we we come up with a way of writing down all the questions. Trust me, we have that covered. And we'll reveal it to you uh, when the time is right. Right? We'll compensate you accordingly. <laughs> Same way we need to compensate uh don't Some do people. that. You can't even allude to that until you've done the two the two Saturdays. Okay, but but the compensation is the same. That's just what I'm saying. No, you know? let's just so let's spend the two Saturdays. We're gonna talk. compensate a whole Saturday Mm-mm. with each of them separately. So thank you so much for just staying tuned throughout the whole episode. Thank now, you. Now we have a live rec- a podcast a live podcast recording on the 30th of April at Sax and Violins at uh, the Waterfront, and that will start at 1 p.m. all the way to 6 p.m. What else do we need to say about the live recording? <laughs> there, grab your tickets. We'll leave a link in the description box. Yes. Uh, on top of that, we normally have exclusive content to Joy Riders who are subscribed, subscribed to, to our that. newsletter. Not to our YouTube channel, but to the newsletter. Yes. So we'll also leave a link in the description to the newsletter in case mm. you want to join in. Yeah. You can click it and then you can join. But yeah. for the ones who are subscribed to Patane, go yeah. email. If you if you just watch these videos and without subscribing, that is a sin. God sees you. He sees you. So we're we going pray, to threaten guys. Yeah. So thank you so much. See you on the next episode. God bless you. Bye.